you can just have a better quality sleep in silence. And on that note, I've also found that if you are going to watch something just before bed, then a much more comfortable way of doing it is to have your smartphone on an arm. It means that, well, for starters, you don't have to use your own arm, and so you can just focus on trying to get to sleep, and also it allows you to keep your neck at a less weird angle, which is just less strenuous. So combine this with the sleep timer that we just talked about, and you can have a much more worry-free bedtime experience. When you're registering your fingerprint to be able to unlock your phone, instead of registering it once like your phone asks you to, do it twice. And on that second time, make sure that you're getting every single nook and cranny of your finger. Your phone will detect these as two separate fingerprints, meaning that when you're trying to next get into your phone, it'll be much more likely to match your current print against at least one of those two saved prints. If you have a whole load of cables for all your various different gadgets, then you can use cable ties to link them all together, organizer clips to keep the ends uniform and consistent, and then a cable box to store all the big bulky wiring that's trailing across your floor. You can very quickly go from something like this to something like this. And if you want to take this to the next level, then you can also swap out all of your various different power bricks, which might be 5 watt or 10 watt or maybe even 20 watt chargers, for just one high-end 100 watt plus charger that can take care of everything. Okay, time for a camera lightning round. Five of my absolute favorite tricks for photos. The first one being burst mode. Your phone has it use it. On an iPhone, you hold down the shutter button and then drag it to the left. On a Samsung, you just hold the volume down button and off it goes. The point is, if you're ever about to experience something that cannot be repeated, then capturing 20 photos a second is a pretty good way of making sure you don't miss it. If you're trying to capture a screenshot of an entire page, then instead of taking 50 separate screenshots